All right, hello and welcome back to my channel. My name's Josh. Oh, do I have a show for you this week. Huh, it's just, it's the show to end all shows. Well, I mean, it's like the fifth show, so I'm not ending anything, but it is a good show. What are we doing this week? Well, I'm glad you asked. We're doing Clock Week. Oh huh, yeah, Clock Week. What is Clock Week? Well, Clock Week is a lot like Shark Week, but it's nothing like Shark Week. Yeah, there's no teeth, no long fishy things. Nobody's fishing, no seals getting eaten as they jump out of the water, nothing like that. But we do have some time-telling mechanisms that I'm gonna build myself. Huh? Huh? So, kind of like Shark Week, but you know, maybe not as much fun. Okay, I admit it, I'm not even gonna do this anymore. Kidding. Okay, so, well, there's a little bit of a twist to Clock Week. We're not gonna build just one clock. No. Not just two clocks. Not just three clocks. Cause that would be silly. But four clocks. Okay, yeah. you guys can go four. now. <sighs> Bunch of camera hogs. Anyway, so that's what we're gonna do this week. Um, I got some really cool designs. I think they're cool. I mean, you may not like them, but I do. So, and that's really all that matters. Me and my mom. <laughs> Sorry, so we got some really cool designs. Let's go ahead and get into it, all right? Let's do that. Hey. Ah. So let me show you the templates of the four clocks we're going to make. This first one, we're going to do kind of a weird kind of resin melty pour. This one's going to be, I'm going to call this one Dante's Inferno. And the next, we'll go over here, one step, down. This one, you can see the, the beveled edges on it. It is going to be more uh, um, uh, subtle, earthy tones. Um, hopefully it turns out like I like I imagined, but we'll see. And then number three is the classic round. Um, this one I'm going to do a dirty pour. It's just going to be a um, a flat dirty pour with some different colors. And number four, number four is going to be um, a little bit of a surprise for you. It's my clock. It's the one I'm going to put up here on the wall right there. That's where it's going. Wah, wah, wah. Let's look at the design. Oh, you see that? That's all you get. I don't think I'm gonna show you this one until I am completely finished because it's gonna be some funky, funky stuff. I've got some pieces on here that are just gonna make, just make it pop. Pop, I say, pop. All right, so we're gonna do some pouring, huh? We're gonna pour clocks four clocks at the same time well not exactly at the same time but in the same amount of time i don't know what that is the first one is we're going to do this one um i think i want to do kind of a, a marble design on this one this round mac daddy right here this bad boy um just um some maybe marbling some Subtle colors, not a lot, and I got a, a little surprise I want to throw on there, but I may not show you that till the end because I can. It's my channel. I can do that if I like. Number two, we're going to do this bad boy here, which last night I um, uh, epoxied some stones that I had. Uh, they were a little blue and uh, kind of a clearish brown stone. All right. Let's see if you can see those. I have the color scheme picked out for that one as well. And then we're gonna do this funky bad boy. Boom. All right. So those are the four, those are the three we're gonna do. And then let me show you the fourth one here. I'll give you, I'll give you a glimpse of it because I'm really, um, I'm still kind of a little unsure of all the stuff I'm gonna do, but I'll give you some aspects of the project. All right. Oh, here. Oh, what do we got? Oh, I think I see a skull there. And then some other color and some little circles and oh. 
What's gonna be with that? What is that gonna be? All right, let's get the pouring. Let's get the snoring and pouring, huh? out here outside doing some sanding which I'm sure my neighbors love um, so what we're gonna do is we got uh, the clock so I need, I need to make the hole for the actual mechanism and then I need to sand the sides down and get it ready for painting because I'm gonna paint the edges to match the side uh, to match some of the colors inside here on this one <clears throat> and then I get to get a, a rough sand on this and then get a rough sand on the top so I can get ready to do the fine sanding I can do that inside the wet sanding I don't have to do it out here in the 50,000 degrees weather. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do today. I have to get this off the stand. Um, this one, I, I really love the colors. It turned out really good, but had a little problem with the mold. <laughs> um, but um, I love the colors. It came out kind of like a, like a, I don't know, a blood Dr. Pepper. <laughs> so we'll see how that one turns out. And the fourth one is a surprise. So we're almost done with the with the four clocks. Now I know you only see Nung Song Sam one two three, but um, I got a fourth clock that I'm not showing you. It's a surprise clock. It's that fourth surprise clock. Now here are the three I got. So this one, boom, uh -huh, uh -huh. okay, a little bit of a strange pour. Got the back carved out of it for the piece. Um, I'm gonna do the wet sanding on these. Now I can't do wet sanding on this one because of the, the stones in here. It's a pretty clear, it's pretty clean. So that one's good. Gotta put the numbers on it. I'm gonna do something different on this one. No numbers on this one. It's gonna be numbers on this one. And then this one of course uh, will, ha will not have numbers. It has the, 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 the feathers on it. And I still have to wet sand all three of these. All right, so I did up to 600 grit on these two with the electric sander, and I'm gonna do the rest by hand. So I'm gonna do 800, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, 3,000, and 5,000 grit on all of, uh, on these two. This one, I just, I can't do anything with it because it's just, it would look off because I have too many, too many pebbles in here, and I just don't think it's gonna work. So on these two, I can do that. So I'm gonna get them as shiny as I can. Um, I did it on the last project and it turned out really good. So hopefully I can do that on this one as well. We will find out. Uh, so let's do that. I'm gonna wet sand it from 800 and on up. Okay, so let's do that now. So you ready to see the four clocks? The four clocks of the apocalypse? Here we go, let's take a look. Oh, all right. So there's one and two, all right. 
Get a little close up here. There's one. Oh, there's two. Super shiny. <clears throat> Here's three. I like to call this one Chessy. <laughs> oh, Chessy. And here's number four, the one I didn't want to show you, but it's my favorite. It's the one I'm putting in my office. I'm calling this one the Freaky Nowhere Clock. Oh, super funky. You can see a sneak of here. Oh, look at the skull. Oh, back out. Oh, and back into this skull. Oh, candy apple red skull. Oh, yeah. All right, so that's the four clocks. Boom, right there. Digging all four of them. I made mistakes, but I think they turned out pretty good. I, I still probably gonna do a little bit more finishing work on them. Um, there's a couple of spots on them that I, that I wanna you know, maybe resand and, and put a flood coat on it again. But all in all, they turned out really good. I'm really happy with them. All right, so that was our clock episode. Uh, I hope you had fun, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this inspired you to go out and, and try these things. I mean, have a little fun with it. Resin is pretty easy to work with once you've, once you've kind of mastered the little, the little nuances of it. Um, you'll make some mistakes. Start out with small projects like me, and then um, you can move into bigger stuff once you get the hang of how it works. It's really fun and it's really versatile. You can do a lot of stuff with it. Tables and clocks and coasters and, there, and jewelry. There are so many things you can do with resin and, and, and they're all kind of fun to, to deal with. I'm gonna try a little bit of everything myself just to kind of see what's, what I enjoy doing the most. But the clocks were fun. I love Clock Week. I hope you did too. If you did, please like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel, um, and we're gonna build some new stuff. Next week, I'm gonna do some lap trays with bean bags underneath that I just kind of I've seen similar ones. I want to do something like that. So that's what we're going to do next week. So please stay tuned. Come back. See you in the next episode. I'll see you then. All right. All right.